welcome to the DNS class so we were speaking about some of the key components of DNS and the key components are domain namespace zones name servers servers and name resolution process so first let us take up the topic of uh, domain namespace and discuss what is domain namespace so here we have a picture which uh, defines what exactly is the domain namespace in this picture so we have domain namespace uh, with starting with uh, a period a period or a dot is identified as a root domain <coughs> and anything which comes under the root domain is called as org or dot com or edu or au org is for organization and com for commercial edu for education and au for australia so in the same way you can have many different types of domains like uh, dot org like unix services dot uh, org or unix services dot com or unix services dot edu or unix services dot in for india so you can have anything so period is a root domain anything which comes under that that is org dot com dot edu dot au so all these things are the first level domain so whichever which comes under the first level domain is called as the second level domain so we have a notes which has been prepared here so domain namespace which provides a structure of distributed database under that root domain is identified as period and the first level domain is identified as dot com dot org dot edu dot in and we have second level domain so second level domain is registered to individuals or organizations so like we have our organization unix services dot com so it is registered under name under our name so it is unix services dot co dot in is registered under our name in the same way so the second level domain is registered to an individuals or organizations it can be for an individual or it can be for an organization so under the second level domain so we have the subdomain uh, under the second level domains we have subdomains so what are subdomains suppose if uh, I have a training section or if I have a marketing section if I have a, a sales section <clears throat> so those things are not nothing but called as the subdomains so here we have an example for subdomains that is sales.unixservices.com marketing.unixservices.com so, or these are some of the subdomains which we can have under the second level domains <coughs> so this is second level domain that is unix services.com which is registered to an individual under that we can have sales.unix services.com marketing.unix services.com these are the subdomains so we have made a note of that so here in uh, the picture if we know so here we have an example for microsoft.com under that we have subdomain training.microsoft.com so for each subdomain we have a computer which is assigned so whenever we assign a computer automatically when someone tries to access training.microsoft.com it has to pull up the information so for that training.microsoft.com we will have a web server or we will have a host computer which is being assigned to that so here if you see even it it also has a host server which is assigned to that so we'll just take this as an example of a web server so the name of this particular web server will become web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com so here if we have if we have to identify this particular server so this server is identified as a web server one of training.microsoft.com or a host of training training.microsoft.com <coughs> you can name anything so here to identify this machine on the domain space 
so identifying this machine is called as FQDN fully qualified domain name so here we have dot is the <coughs> top level domain that is and then we have that is root domain then we have second level domain top level domain second level domain and subdomain and then the host host is nothing but the computer which is attached to the subdomain okay so that explains what exactly is a domain namespace and let us come to the fqdn fully qualified domain name so this describes the exact relationship from host or server to domain so here we have an explanation so the relationship between this machine to the root from here to here is being defined here that is web server dot training dot microsoft dot com is the relationship which is the hierarchy which has been showing it here so that is nothing but fqdn that is fully qualified domain name describes the exact relationship from host or server to the domain so dns uses fqdn to map a host name to ip address so if this machine has one IP address so if that has to resolve so it goes through this process so it checks for the FQDN name that is web server one dot training dot Microsoft dot com to resolve the IP so now let us understand what is zones So you may have different type of or many domain name spacing system like you might have web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com web server two dot training dot microsoft dot com sales one dot training dot sales that is web server one dot sales dot microsoft dot com so this may you know keep on continuing like a large tree structure so maintaining this would become a problem for everyone so if it is a huge network it nothing less than it would have more than 100 to 500 servers or a host machines which is fetching or people are trying to access so in the larger organizations like microsoft.com it would be very difficult to maintain these things to maintain these things to administer these things so we use something called as zone domains can be organized into zones for administrative purposes one reason to divide a domain namespace into zones is to delegate authority for different portions of it so how do we delegate authority so suppose if we have uh, training.microsoft.com so we will just separate this particular thing as one separate zone and we'll put sales.microsoft.com as our separate zone so so we will delegate authority and we'll separate it and we'll make easy to administer so these are things which is maintained by an web web server administrator so we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, try to understand uh, zones in our next session thank you for viewing